everyone welcome back to the channel isn't this artwork on this tin beautiful i just had to have a close-up of it because i think it's gorgeous but yeah i'm going to be looking at these pencils today i did purchase these pencils purely because there was a really really good offer on them so i have seen them hanging around the youtube channels i've been looking at reviews on them there's been a sort of a mixed bag of reviews on these pencils but the price had really shot down if you run to amazon now literally run um you might be able to get them for the same bargain price um but when they first got released they was quite expensive i believe um so i'm going to have a little look at them today i'm going to swatch them out i've already had a little sneak peek because i've got my swatch book ready and i have just popped in all the colour names so i have grabbed the pencils out whilst i do that i think we need to bring you up a little bit now so yeah i've sort of put all the colour names in and then we can just have a little look at the colours now i thought i would jump in and get these while they was on offer because i really really like the derwent colour soft pencils but the derwent colour softs can be quite crumbly they are well very crumbly they are quite crumbly and I thought maybe this is a similar soft pencil, but maybe not. It may, might not have that crumble to it. I'm hoping it doesn't have the crumble to it. So I'm going to swatch out and see. I have just put a little star against two of the pencils because I did find a, um, a problem with those pencils, but I will show you. So let's just get into them. So it's a beautiful tin, like I said at the start. I had to do a close-up of this gorgeous illustration. I'm wondering who's illustrated that, actually. It does normally tell you. Um, but it's a nice little tin. A nice little tin to keep them in. Oh, is that supposed to be that way? I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> but there we go. The usual standard tins. And when you get inside, they are packed like this. So we've got three layers in these little trays. These little grooves are so that you can try and get them out a bit easier. So there's that one, your blues and greens in that one. And then we've got sort of browns and, and greys in that one. So let's just have a look at what I spotted first, shall we? The little imperfection. So I'm going to try and find it. So it was flame which is going to be one of these red colours, isn't it? Flame. Sounds like a red colour. Watch me not be able to find it. But yeah, I found these barrels to be a little... Um, there it is. You can see there straight away. You might be able to see it on the camera. But a lot of the barrels, they're not the best quality. I mean, you can see this it's like a groove and indentation all the way down but the actual the top of the number you can't see now look like you know i can kind of make out that that's zero four zero zero um just about but there is quite a lot of barrels where they've got this sort of imperfection um and even at even the tops of these pencils they feel a bit flimsy and not put together well for me I don't know so I'm going to sharpen these and I'm hoping that these hold up because they don't look just I don't know there's just they don't feel like do like a Derwent product to me if that makes sense but yeah let's find the other pencil which one was it pickle it's called pickle pickle if you're watching there is a youtuber on here <laughs> little pickles colourful life i think it might be a green pencil that one eh do i think that's a green pencil being pickle let's have a look i should have left them out on the side but you know me you know me pickle oh it might be purple pickles purple is it is it is pickle purple and don't get me saying that tongue twister because i'm not doing that oh, it's not here is it definitely not here that's periwinkle. No, it must be in this set somewhere here. Or is it a purple over here? Let me look. It might be one of these purples. If you've already got this pencil set, you'll be shouting at the screen like, it's over there, it's that colour. No. Kirsty does not have it. 
feet. It sticks out like a sore thumb, that pencil. It must be here somewhere. It might be one of these greens, actually. Oh, they don't want to turn, do they? Oh, it's there. It's there. Look at me faffing. But this one is the same. Now, this number has been cut off quite a lot. Now, I've kind of worked out that that one might be 1830. That's what it looks like. But, again, it's not what you expect when you pay so much for a pencil. I mean, luckily, the price I got these for um, wasn't the full price. But if I'd paid the full recommended retail price for these pencils, I've got to say, I'm not sure I'd be happy about it. They, they feel... I don't know if it's just because they're very lightweight. They feel quite lightweight in your hand. And because of all the imperfections, there is other pencils as well where the wood's like, it's not smooth. How, it, how the barrel's supposed to be nice and smooth. It's not smooth and it's got all these imperfections all over. There's quite a lot like that and scratched and dented. And if I'd have paid the full price for these, I just, I, I don't think I would have been happy about it. That's all I'm saying. Um... But yeah, what do you think if you've got these pencils? I mean, I'm not normally a pencil snob, you know. If there's a few imperfections and and stuff like that, I'm not really too bothered. But it's the fact that the I don't know, they feel quite cheap in a way, and they shouldn't high end product, product shouldn't feel like that. They just I don't like this top bit either. It looks really flimsy. I'm gonna sharpen them and see what they're like when they're sharpened. Um. But yeah, in your hand, it almost feels like a budget pencil. Oh, it's sharpened quite nice, actually. It has sharpened nice. It has sharpened nice. We'll see. The, the proof is in the swatching now, because I'm going to have a look at what these pencils are like, what they lay down like, because I've, I've not tested them yet at all. I've not. So let's get in. Should I sharpen this one first? This is citrus lemon. It looks quite um, vibrant. So yeah, they are, they are sharpening nice. That's making that nicer. Right, let's get in and have a little swatchy swatch. See what we feel like the laying down like. Oh, they are nice and soft though. They are nice and soft and pigmented as well. I didn't have to push down very hard on the pen. Oh, we've got something on this. What's that? Let me lift it up. Can you see that green? There's two green lines. A green line here. What is that on the pencil? I hope that's not running throughout the whole, <laughs> the whole of my pencil. Let's carry on going and see. It's a good test, isn't it? Really. Hopefully it was just something a bit dirty on the end of the pencil and it's not running throughout it. Because if it's run, running throughout the whole barrel, then you've got an issue. Yeah. No, it seems to have seems to have gone now, so maybe it was just a bit dirty. Hopefully. I don't know, there's a bit of another line there. Hmm. We shall see. Let's test the next colour. Parmesan. I like the colour names of these. That's one thing I noticed. They're quite fun. Uh, there's one called Strawberry. And that's quite nice. I need to sharpen them first. You can feel the coat. Um, I don't know if they do specifically, but I have heard people mention before that they put a coating on pencils. Um, and I could actually feel... I needed to sharpen it because I could actually feel something on the end of the pencil. Or it felt like it, but it's just the same now. And this one's putting scratches on as well. <clears throat> Why is that occurring? I don't know, that, fe that pencil feels quite hard and scratchy in comparison to the first one I put down. I don't know. I don't know if it's just me. <laughs> It did feel quite scratchy. 
This one is sun yellow. Oh, that is beautiful. That is a beautiful colour. Look at the pigment on that and how easy it's going down. That is gorgeous. Now I'm thinking there might just be some little irregular irregularities. Irregularities, because this parmesan pencil felt really strange going down, but that one's gorgeous. Sun yellow, that one felt amazing going down, very soft. Sunflower. Again, really, really soft and nice. The colours you can see coming through there on these ones are just the writing on the opposite side. <laughs> just the writing. But that green is definitely not. So whatever that was. Amber gold. Oh, that is beautiful. Beautiful pigment on that. Look at that. Gorgeous. You can definitely tell they're a lot creamier than the Derwent Colour Softs. They are a lot creamier. Golden Sun. Look at that, that's gorgeous. That is quite a different colour actually. I thought, it, I thought, is it going to be like the Golden Rod or is it going to be like the Green Gold in the polychrome set but it's slightly different it's really lovely that mango they are going down beautiful i think i'm gonna love these i am actually i think i'm gonna love these pencils i take back whatever i said at the start <laughs> I don't care what they look like, they feel amazing going down on this paper. I can tell already I'm going to love colouring with these pencils. But yeah, they just the barrels on them just feel cheap and a bit poorly made, that's all. Because there is quite a lot with dints like that and obviously the writing off. And they feel quite very light, like a cheaper pencil. But the actual lay down of them knocks the socks off any cheap brands. Knocks the socks off. Oh, love it. Look at that. There's the famous emergency vehicle going past. A very noisy one. A very noisy one, actually. What's this one? Melon. That's nice. It's like a peach, like a peach tone, that one, isn't it? I'm not doing the best swatches because I don't want to be here all day. So I'm just doing them rather quickly. Autumn Blaze. Oh, that's nice. That reminds me of the, what colour is it in the Colour Soft set? Is it the Sanguine? Or something like that. It does remind me of one of the colours out of that soft soft um, colour soft set red orange what I found when I was writing the pencil names down is it appeared like there was quite a lot of blues in this set um, I'm hoping the quite different blues when we swatch them out I don't want lots of similar shades so fingers crossed we'll have a look Scarlet. Yeah, so at, at the moment on Amazon UK, I think it is at Amazon US as well, so it might be across the uh, globe sort of thing um, on these pencils at the moment. But on Amazon, they reduced from £137 to £56. So £56 for 72 pencils at the moment, which I think is fantastic. There's no way I would have paid full price for them. No way. Now this one is quite similar to this one. Pure red, this one. It's very, very similar. 
if you stir at these for too long you'll think they're the same colour you need to blink <laughs> you need to blink to see that difference I think that is quite very samey samey I would say and I'm not even on the screen so <laughs> yeah but look how similar they are but you can't even tell the difference can you strawberry now I love the name of this one I think how nice is that name so this is quite a dulled down red this one it's quite a dark deep red that'd be nice for shadows wouldn't it with one of these brighter reds that's really pretty actually i've been thinking about painting some strawberries next on the pantone cards <laughs> pompium red so there's quite a lot of red oranges in this set as well at the minute looking at this oh that's a very nice one as well that's a nice one that's like a red berry red berry type of color isn't it gorgeous it's got like a pinky tone in that one salmon now i expect this will be good for skin tones the salmon one It's, it looks a bit like the cinnamon colour in the polys. Is it the cinnamon or is it called something else? Or is it the red beige? I colour with them pencils every day and I've still forgot the name of them. <laughs> Blush pink, this is gorgeous. <gasps> Look at that. You know what, this colour set is screaming for me to colour with them flowers, florals. I think I'm going to find, I was going to do a humpback whale in my Tim Jeffs book, but I think looking at the nice bright colours here, I'm going to have to pick a floral page next. These are beautiful. Hot pink. Again, gorgeous. Who doesn't love pink? magenta i love magenta tones anyway in any set any set that's got a magenta in i love it look at that it's just so rich the lay down of it beautiful color so you can see if i show you already because i've got my derwent's here i've got my derwent color softs swatched in here so if you look at those kinds of orange and red tones in the colour softs and look at those ones you can see a similar similarity I can't say them words you can see a similarity but these colour softs feel almost a bit is chalky the right word they've not got quite as much of a smooth lay down as these ones these chroma floor are quite a lot smoother and waxier yeah but i suppose they will really um complement each other if you use the sets together as well i bet that's really nice to do actually does anybody have both sets and use them together ultra pink that but they are very soft and smooshy and just gorgeous it's just the barrels what put me off for me the barrels feel quite i don't know they just have a cheap feel to them but the colors certainly don't orchid It's like a lovely, lovely bubblegum pink, that one, isn't it? Yeah, I have to colour something floral with these, definitely. Pink heather. It's 
See, some of the colours feel harder. This is one of the pencils that it feels harder. feels like I'm having to work harder to get the colour down. It feels almost a bit harder and scratchier than the rest. And whether that's something to do with the pigment or just an inconsistency, I'm not quite sure. Lilac, see this one is super smooth. This one's super soft going down. I'm Violet. My daughter's called Violet. I love the name. <laughs> love the name. This is a nice deep colour as well. That's going to be nice for shadows as well. Now, although we are getting some pencil dust off here, it's nothing. It's nothing in comparison to how much you get with the Derwent Colour Softs. If you saw my last colour along on the channel using the Derwent Colour Softs, you'll see how crumbly they are and these aren't, which is what I was hoping for. And I am very happy about that. Very happy about that. So I'm going to get onto the second tray now. So these are your blues and greens. These are quite nice. This is Midnight Purple. That is very smooth. That is so soft. Beautiful. I only ordered these last night as well. About tea time-ish. Yesterday. And they've come today. That is gorgeous and smooshy as well. Violet blue. Light blue. So has anybody been on the fence about these pencils like me? Not wanting to pay that high price that they have, that they have been. But now they're in the sale, might be pondering over whether to get them or not i'm glad i did now i'd been pondering for ages you know when you're just curious about it obviously the pencils came out last year now um and you've seen all the mixed reviews and you're just pondering and pondering um yeah i'm glad i'm glad i did i'm wondering why they've been reduced so much though as well because that's you know that's a good bargain that's a lot of money knocked off and i'm wondering why they've done that to be honest i mean normally you get bargains and sales but it's not normally such a chunk off is it i mean i'm not complaining but i'm just wondering is there anything behind that i wonder if they're on sale on the actual derwent website or if it's just amazon i'll have to check that out actually Check that out and I believe. I know Derwent have got a sale on at the moment, but I don't know how much will be off them on there. Oh, that's gorgeous colour. Look at that, periwinkle. How nice is that colour? <gasps> Beautiful. Oh, these will be nice for florals as well get some really nice blue florals with these blue it's a really nice bright blue it's very soft as well this pencil i'm finding that some are softer than others but i think that's probably that is probably down to the pigment um the colors the certain colors because you find that with quite a few um pencil brands Glacier. Glacier blue. Oh, glacier blue. How do you say that word? Let's move you up a bit. I'm not on the best angle. Oh, that's very smooshy. Deep sea. Look at that. Look how dark that is. <gasps> that's like a really deep indigo type colour. Gorgeous. 
absolutely beautiful that that is so rich i cannot explain to you how rich that is it almost looks black it's that deep it is gorgeous absolutely beautiful iris purple if my little boy was a girl i was gonna call him iris <laughs> Because he's got four big sisters, Ruby, Violet, Amber and Hazel. And when we was thinking of names, because we kept his um, gender a secret, we didn't find out. We wanted it to be a surprise. So we had to pick a girl's name and a boy's name. And I thought, if it's another girl, I'm going to have Iris. And then he was a boy. <laughs> so he got Casper. He's the only child without a colour for a name. <laughs> Or a flower, because all the middle names are flowers. Um, but yeah, I, I really like the name Casper. I had Casper picked out and I had Sterling picked out because I thought it was quite different, but still, you know, not too out there. Bondi Blue. That's reminded me of that show. It keeps coming up, you know, when videos pop up on um i think it's facebook actually when videos pop up on facebook and there's is it called bondi beach you know where they do like the rescues the lifeguard rescues i'm sure it's bondi beach i love watching them <laughs> and i don't know why because i'm terrified of draining me so i don't like anything like that but i just I don't know, I like all those those programs and all those um like emergency nine 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 programs, ambulance programs, police programs. Um turquoise green. I was checking we had the right colour. I know people sometimes find swatching videos a bit boring, but I just thought I really want to come on and do an honest review of what I thought of all these pencils and the only way to do that is by swatching them all. Um, looking for any irregularities. Why do I struggle saying those words? Irregu irregularities. Um, yeah, my honest thoughts. So the only way to do that is to check through every single pencil. Like I say, I spotted those imperfections on the barrels. And now I'm just seeing how they lay down. So... This looks nice, pastel mint. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's a nice color. That is a nice color. Gorgeous. The greens are rather nice in this set. I have to say, cactus. That is lovely as well. That's, it's almost like a vintage type green, that. Like a vintage green, like if you was if you've got some paint to paint a set of wooden drawers that you've got at home, that'd be a type of vintagey green. I don't know, maybe I'm talking rubbish. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is the wrong colour I need to what's this one? I've missed it. It's over here. I nearly swatched the wrong pencil against the wrong name then. That wouldn't have been fun. I've done that before, actually. And then just put arrows to switch them around. That one's really smooth. That really smooshy, that colour. Obsidian green, I think that's what it's called. I didn't want to say it because I thought I'd butcher it. But there we go. Basil. That's a nice, like a, like a proper green grass or green leaf type colour I love this one eucalyptus that is gorgeous as well green meadow oh that's a really bright one see these are the types of greens that I don't like I don't like these shades of green don't know what it is about it <laughs> I just don't I prefer the really earthy deep ones like these four I love these four colours here greens and then these I don't know I don't like this colour 
but you'll find this type of colour in every set. Every pencil set you get, probably. Tropical rain. That's almost a bit on the, almost on the teal side, not quite, but almost, it's like getting there. It's got that warmth to it. Foliage, foliage. <laughs> See, I love that. I love that colour. That colour is gorgeous. It's like got yellow tone in it, doesn't it? That one's lovely. Foliage, grass green. Yeah, I don't like grass greens. I don't know, it's just something about the more brighter colours of greens I don't like. I'm a fuss pot. <laughs> I like the muted down greens. Who agrees? And um, we've got purr. to the next tray so oh, I'm just watching the last tray now guys and um, we've got the pickle we're getting the pickle pencil see I really do think it will be eight uh, 1830 it's a guess it's a guess that's a gorgeous colour as well though that is lovely this is the type of green I like Muted, dulled down, really earthy type colours, which is what you get in the Derwent Colour Soft range, a lot of earthy colours, if I'm honest. Lemon Lime, this is very bright. Very bright, not sure how I feel about that colour. And now we're getting on to some browns, so mocha. Let's see what the browns are offering. Really smooth that colour. There's a really nice colour as well, that actually. We have Dijon, like Dijon mustard. Oh, it is as well. Look at that. That's a nice colour. That is a nice colour. I keep thinking I'll get myself a new swatch book purely because a lot of the swatches in this book um, the pencils I didn't like and I've given them away or it's stuff I don't use anymore so I'd like to do an up to date one of all the pencils I actually use but you know to swatch them all out would be an absolute nightmare it'd take forever look at the colour of that <gasps> how gorgeous is that brown sugar that is beautiful See, these are quite earthy, aren't they? They're very nice. That is gorgeous. And those three colours together just look beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Who knew browns could be so lush? <laughs> Peach sand. I'm wondering if you could use that for a skin tone or if it'd be a bit too orangey. Burnt sienna. Now that's quite orangey for a burnt sienna, isn't it? I'm trying to compare it to the burnt sienna in the polychromos set, which is quite brown. I'm sure it's quite a brown shade. This is really quite orangey for a burnt sienna. On to the next page now. This is the last final swatches. This is Spice. What 
it's quite nice that's like a um that would act as like a shadow if you wanted to do like a ginger hair tone maybe that'd be quite nice red wood oh that one would you could use that as the lightest shade and this in the shadows that oh that's gorgeous that Beautiful colours. Raisin. Oh, that is so smooth. Some colours are laying down. So, so soft and smooth. This is one of them. Look at that. Coffee bean, what a good name. <laughs> That's an awesome name. Yeah, so this is a really, really dark brown. A really dark brown. Almost black, it's that brown. That is gorgeous and rich. But you can see when I do it a bit lighter, you can see there the colour a bit better. Oh, I'm excited now because these colours are just amazing. And that's what I fell in love with the Derwent Colour Softs for was the the, um, the selection of colours and again they've pulled it off with this set it is gorgeous look at that colour natural brown how rich that is as well and then we're moving on to some greys morning mist so these are like your warm grey tones it looks like it looks like quite a warm grey and we've got pebble like a step up on that one basalt grey carbon grey I think a lot of the time greys are very very similar in each pencil set that you'll get They all tend to have similar, very similar colours. Although this, the name of this one, Red Storm, sounds quite exciting because it is, it is as well. That is quite different. That is really, really nice. Look at that. It's like a, it has got like a red tint to it. That is beautiful. That is gorgeous, that colour. Absolutely gorgeous. Lavender Ash. Again, beautiful. So these would be really nice for if you want some... You're colouring something that's grey, say... I don't know. Say this humpback whale, what I've got out here. But you don't want it to be too flat in the colour. You could... Use one of these greys with a hint of the lavender or red in it and it'd be really, I imagine it'd make it really, really warm and rich. Slate grey. Beautiful, this has got a blue tone in it. Gorgeous, you can see the blue in that. That is beautiful. I think there was a kind of slate grey in the air teaser. Expert pencils, if I remember correctly, when I had those. But it wasn't as nice as that one. Blackening. Then we've got black. Let's see how rich this is. Oh, that is a black black. That is a lovely... Look how opaque that is. gorgeous it's just the way they're laying down they feel real they are really really soft guys they are really really soft obviously this is white so you're not going to see much here but let's just pop it down oh i can feel though i can actually say and i can feel 
how nice that is. And then we've got a silver and gold. These are the last two pencils. Now I don't use silver and golds in my pencil sets just because I prefer to use other pencils that give the appearance of silver and gold than going straight in with silver and gold because I think sometimes if you go straight in with one of these pencils it can appear quite flat. Um, so yeah, I don't use these pencils F to be honest. And if I do want something to be metallic, very metallic and shiny on the page, I use a um, metallic watercolour paint. So I don't think I'll be using these two pencils, but it's, it's nice to have them there I suppose. But I will not be using those. But there's your silver and your gold. There's another, another emergency vehicle coming past. We'll hear that in a second. My channel is famous for emergency vehicles. If you've been watching for any length of time, you will know. Oh, I'm knocking the camera. Don't knock the camera because people don't want the camera knocked. So I'm going to pop these trays back in and then we're going to have a full look at the colours. There we go. Let's pop you up a little bit more. So I think these are beautiful, absolutely beautiful colours. So it starts here. So we did get off to a bit of a rocky start where our pencil lead had some green in it. So I will, um, I'll sort of rub that off on a scrap piece of paper and see if we can get it coming through clean. But it's just might be something on the pencil lead. I'm hoping it's not throughout the barrel. Otherwise this will happen every time we colour with it. But all the colours here are absolutely beautiful. I absolutely love them. They're so earthy and rich. The pigment that you get off these pencils and you don't have to work hard for it. It lays down like that straight away. It is absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Look at the colour range of those. And those greys, even those greys, that slate grey is beautiful. And these Red Storm and Lavender Ash, I think they're some of my favourites, actually absolutely beautiful pencils so yeah i would definitely get them at this price at the 56 pounds that they are at the moment i would definitely order them again um i'm not sure about the full price i think they're a little you know what full recommended retail price i think they're a little pricey um but the payoff of the color is absolutely stunning it's just a few little you know irregularities with the barrels for me but maybe that's just mine my batch maybe yours might be perfect who knows but i think they're gorgeous i would definitely buy these again and i'm gonna as soon as i get off here i'm picking out a floral page and i'm gonna test out all these beautiful colors on a big floral page i think probably in the flow escaping paradise again <laughs> we can get some nice flowers in there so yeah we'll see how these work in that book really really nice guys really nice and for 56 pounds go and run and grab them go and run and grab them see if they're still on off on offer on amazon but yeah thanks so much for staying tuned and watching me do some boring swatching but needed to be done <laughs> and i'll see you again soon Bye bye